Smart home devices and routines. Who does it better, Google Home or Amazon Echo? Let's take a look at both and see their strengths and similarities. Who's gonna be the routine winner? Hello tech friends, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Craig. I love making tech videos and this is part of my weekly Echo series. This is week 25 of 2019. You can find the rest of the series in the description along with anything I talk about. Right off the bat, I will say I have a bias towards Echo devices after all the time I've been using them. And as you see, this video is part of an Echo series. But I wanted to learn and be as open-minded as possible with the Google Home. And as I dug further into the routines, I was pleasantly surprised by a few of the things that I found. I think one of the biggest benefits of these smart devices and assistants is automation. The ability to use routines to make multiple things happen with one command. Both of these devices and assistants keep growing and adding functionality to their routines. I do believe that each of these devices have features that the other companies should really steal because they are that good. Let's compare what functionality there is with routines on both. I will do a checklist of features and options that I wanna compare about routines. For each item, I'll give you my personal opinion on which device wins that category. There might be other subtle things you use that I may not mention. Let us know in the comment section. At the end, I will give you my winner, you may be surprised. First, let's talk about triggers. With the Google Home and the Echo, you have the choice to trigger routine with your voice or at a time. Both allow you to create your own trigger phrase to start a routine. Both also allow you to set a time of day and pick what days you want the routine to be triggered. Where the Echo pulls ahead with scheduling a routine is being able to trigger routine with sunset or sunrise. This is great for having an evening or morning routine that is not tied to a specific time, such as lights coming up inside when the sun starts to set. Especially with sunset changing throughout the year, it's nice to not have to change the time of the routine as the year goes along. Another plus for the Echo is the additional choices of triggers. With the Echo, you can use a device such as a motion sensor to trigger a routine. You can also use locations as a trigger, such as when you arrive at home. You can have your alarm in the morning trigger a routine when it goes off. Last, you can trigger routine with a push of a button using an Echo button. The winner for triggering routines goes to the Echo. Next is the routine media options. Both the Google Home give you the option to trigger music and news from supported services. You can pick the type of music that is triggered based on artist, genre, or song. For news, the Echo will play the news outlets you've selected as your flash briefing. The Google Home lets you pick your news outlets if you click the gear icon. Google also gives you the option to trigger radio stations, podcasts, audiobooks, and sleep sounds. For me, I have to give the Google Home Hub the win. There are more media options that I would personally want to hear. I would rather hear podcasts instead of the news or music in the morning. This is a much better fit for a morning routine for me. Next, both devices can help you get started by letting you know what is on your calendar, the weather, and what your commute's going to look like. Both devices will let you pick what part of your calendar you want to hear about. There are subtle differences between the two, but they are pretty close. Both will also let you know how traffic is looking before you leave for work. Both also give you a weather report to see whether you're going to need that umbrella. But for this area, the differences are minor and I'm gonna call this round a draw. Right off the bat, I'm gonna declare this next category a draw too. When it comes to controlling smart devices, almost all popular smart devices work with Google Home and the Echo. Don't get me wrong, there are definitely devices that only work with one or the other. But the common features that both of these devices offer is the ability to trigger individual devices, a group of devices, and also trigger scenes. On both, I can trigger my video look and the lights will go to the color and intensity I want. With the Echo, I would pick the devices and add them in different steps along the routine. I can pick a group or just pick an individual scene I want triggered. With the Google Home, I could go in and pick multiple devices and turn them on and off in the same step. And I also have the option to pick a scene that I want triggered. They use different approaches, but accomplish the same results. So 
that's a wash. They both, they're both winners. Next, both have the option to announce something on your device when you run the routine. You can let everyone know your home through your device when you trigger a routine. The difference is Google has the option to read your text or send a text if you run the routine from your Android phone. The Echo allows you to send a notification to the Echo app from the routine, but I gotta give this one to Google for the extra phone integration. Google does have some interesting integrations with their routines and using an Android phone, but those integrations won't work using an iPhone. This next one is a draw. Both devices can be set to say a phrase within a routine. Maybe you need some assistant to say something motivational when you run your workout routine. Or you want to be welcomed home when you run your I'm home routine. You can get creative with the things your device says when you do initiate a routine. I think this next feature is great and I believe is only on the Echo. It is the wait option. The wait option allows you to put a wait time between steps. For example, you could have a routine that turns on a light, then waits 15 minutes and then automatically turns off that light. There are many different ways of implementing weights to trigger things on and off over predetermined time. Here's one that I have that I can initiate that will turn the color of my lights, wait one minute, and then turn them back to a different color. Alexa, test light. That turned it red. And with the power of editing, I'll go forward one minute and it'll turn it back to green. And the minutes up and it went back to green. That's one way of implementing it and you could really get creative and put this into use in a lot of different ways. So I do have to give the having a wait time between steps a win for the Echo. That's a big one to me. Speaking of a big feature of routines, this next one seals the deal for the overall win. This feature opens up so much functionality and I wish the Echo had it. It is the ability to type in a command and have it go off when the routine is triggered. You can type anything that you would normally tell your Google Home to do. For example, for my meditation routine, I can have an action that will turn on the lights, set a timer for 15 minutes, and start some music, all by typing in timer for 15 minutes as a step in the routine. Here's how that works. Hey Google, test routine. Fifteen minutes, starting now. There's the timer. It changed my lights. And it's starting some music for me. There's so many possibilities with this. Let's say I wanted to do the same routine, but I wanted it to start playing some YouTube videos when I came inside. So here's my hub. Hey Google. Test routine. Lights Second are changing. timer for 15 minutes, and we're starting now. Starting a timer. I, I believe that self-awareness. And it starts playing a YouTube video that I'd want to watch. There are so many possibilities with the command option, being able to pick what you want to give as a command in there. Here's one. I could type in to my device, show me pictures of Tom Cruise. Now, let's run that. Test routine. Showing pictures that match. And there's pictures of Tom Cruise there. Who would want that? Well, maybe a big Tom Cruise friend, but that shows that pretty much any command can be entered and implemented if you wanted to type it up as one of the steps of your routine. I think that's very fascinating and it just opens up so many possibilities. This is a feature I was not familiar with until diving deeper into Google Home. This is one that Amazon needs to steal because it's a huge one that offers a lot of flexibility in the routines. As an Echo user, it pains me to say this, but I have to. With how versatile that command feature is, I have to give the win to the Google Home in the routine battle. Google Home Hub is the better device for doing more with your routines, but both of these devices in reality bring a lot to the table. Each have some features the other may lack. 
I, but I think you can't go wrong with either one. It comes down to a personal preference and the other digital tools you use. If you're into the Android Google world, this is probably going to serve you best. If you like the Amazon stuff, listen to Apple Music and want to use more of those Amazon features, stick with this. I do like seeing though that both Google and Amazon keep adding more functionality each year. They add more value with these devices and into features like routines. What are your thoughts about routines? What device is the winner for you? Let me know in the comments section. If you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button. To see more videos, subscribe and hit that bell to get notified. You can help support the channel and see additional content with that Patreon link over there. You can check out the rest of this year's series over here. Also, you can find Amazon affiliate links in the description. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.